and his dog jumped in my car and ripped her out of my arms and strung her around like a rag doll and almost killed her. And his dog could have bit me. I was holding her when he came into my car and ripped her out of my arms. So Ziggy must have had her face at the door. In she some did, way. yeah. She was looking at his dog. And it was just sitting there, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just leaps into my car. And what did the other dog do? Because if one dog was an English bulldog, and the other dog was a pit bull. Mm -hmm. The what, pit bull the, remained sitting, um, watching the whole event take place. So, Mr. Sanchez, your English bulldog's name is what? Roscoe. Roscoe. Mm -hmm. And what is the other dog? The uh, pit bull. Princess. Princess, mm -hmm. why don't you tell me about what you observed when you got to the driveway? Well, I have a call for one of my uh, workers that she was waiting for me like about an hour. So when I got over to the business, my dog was going crazy behind the gate. So she knew that I had dogs. She said, I don't have dogs. She knew I had dogs on the other side barking. So I told her to many times to close the window. So uh, I told that she was closing the window. I went and opened the door. And when I opened the door, Rasko was the only one that got out. When I went inside, and that's why I discovered that he took her dog. I went and took the dog from Rasko's mouth, and Rasko went back inside. He had to have, pry have his your dog dogs open. ever bitten anyone before or another dog? Um, no, not really. Yeah, that's a yes. I'm going to go yeah, with a yes so, on that. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm going to go yeah. with a yes. But you said that she was rolling her window up when your dog attacked, or she was not rolling? Well, I, I, I told her many, many times, I warned her, put your dog inside, roll out your window. I guess she was like, I don't know if she was in pills, or she was uh, high, or I don't know, <laughs> she was kind of uh, uh, out. And, um, and she must have been getting a little crazy sitting in the car for an hour waiting for you to show well, up, and, and, you know, to give you It was the business. middle of the summertime. In the middle, so that's my he question to you. 15 minutes, it was an hour. It's the summer. You're sitting in a car. My guess is that you weren't sitting there with the engine running, which would mean mm -hmm. that your window was wide open. Yes. Because you would not have been sitting in a car with the window closed. Correct. And so, your honor, also, I had never heard his dog bark on the other side of the gate. I can't imagine that. These she dogs knows my bark dogs. when you're three blocks away. She I didn't start. hear any the dogs bark. I didn't even know they were back there because the fence is closed. You can't see what's back there. And all of a sudden, they just appear. These she yeah, knows little animals. Their job. their job is to come and attack you because they don't want anybody getting onto his property and stealing his junk, basically. Well, he shouldn't tell customers to go to the property then if he knows he has such dangerous animals. Well, is there a sign up there, sir, that it says is, beware it is. of dogs? I, I have signs all over the place. Do you have a place. photograph of your property showing the signs that say beware of dogs? Of the dog. And she banging inside my Do place. Do you have a picture of that sign? Oh, no, sign? I don't. I don't. Ma'am, uh, are there signs there that... that I, I, not that I remember seeing. Okay, well, that oh means there was something. Okay, so now, he's bitten. Mr. Sanchez gets Ziggy out of Roscoe's mouth, and you're, uh, I would imagine, hysterical. Hysterical. I went into a major panic attack. I don't Had blame an... you. And do you pull away from his driveway? What do you do? Well, luckily, I have to say that he did save my dog's life, I believe, by prying her open. And he um, threw her to me. I picked her up and just started speeding down the highway to the closest vet and got pulled over. And she was bleeding profusely in the car and breathing bubbles of blood mm. so I and her eye looked like a dead fish I thought she was gonna die at any second I was hysterical and when it, by the time we got to the vet they had to call ambulance for me I couldn't even breathe I thought my dog was gonna die so you leave the car there the police now obviously see you are distressed they call an ambulance you all go in the ambulance first to the vet then you go to the ER that is correct so you check in Ziggy to the vet I saw your bills in here but just for the record what was your vet bill my vet bill was like three the first bill was 360 some dollars and okay. the second bill was a hundred and eighty five dollars and seventeen cents. But you didn't sue it seems for the one eighty five on top of the three sixty six. Correct. I didn't get this bill till later. Um Till after you yes. submitted the evidence. Yes. I'm wondering yes. if we would be in a position to make an amendment to this to include the further bill, assuming that you're going to recover, since it would have been something that came in after the fact, and mm -hmm. we could probably take judicial notice of that. And you have the tow bill included here. Is that correct? For that is $100. correct.